acids and bases. There are three acceptable acid-base theories. The first one is called the Arrhenius acid-base theory. Acids are a substance when dissolved in water increases the concentration of H plus ions. Bases are substances when dissolved in water increases the concentration of OH minus ions. Here are examples of Arrhenius acids and bases. For acids, HCl gas, when dissolved in water, produces H plus aqueous ions plus Cl minus aqueous ions. For bases, calcium hydroxide, solid, when dissolved in water, gives calcium 2 plus aqueous ions plus hydroxide ions aqueous. Notice the balanced equation. For the overall reaction, acid plus base gives salt plus water. This is true when your base has a hydroxide present. So for example, the 2HCl aqueous plus calcium hydroxide aqueous gives calcium chloride aqueous plus water liquid. Notice the balancing of this equation where 2 HCl is required and 2 water molecules are also required. For this particular example, when 2 moles of acid react with 1 mole of base exactly, this is neutralization and it forms salt and water. This Arrhenius theory has a limitation and is only restricted to aqueous solutions only. Acids and bases. This is the second acid base theory. It's called Bronsted Lowry theory. An acid is a substance that donates a proton. A base is a substance that accepts a proton. Here is an example of an acid base reaction. Hydrochloric acid will donate a proton to NH3. This produces NH4 plus and plus Cl minus. This is a white ionic solid. With Bronsted Lowry theory, this theory is not restricted to aqueous solutions. For the following lessons on Bronsted Lowry acid base theory, we will work with aqueous solutions only. Most Bronsted Lowry acid base reactions are in equilibrium that favors one side over the other. It is important to know how to identify a base. You may need to review my video on covalent molecules. It is also important to identify strong acids from weak acids. This is a lesson on recognizing Bronsted Lowry bases. These are proton acceptors. First, anionic molecules or negatively charged ions. These ionic molecules accept a proton, but their relative strengths will be different. This difference in relative strengths will be determined later. These ions are associated with one or more non-bonding electron pairs. So here are some examples. The chloride ion has four non-bonding electron pairs. For the cyanide ion, the carbon end is charged. And the hydroxide ion. Notice for the hydroxide ion, it is often implied that lone pairs are present. So it is not necessary to write in the lone pairs. We know oxygen must have a full octet. Number two are neutral bases where there are no charges. These have one or more non-bonding non electron pairs. Generally, nitrogen has one lone pair of electrons and oxygen has two lone pair of electrons. So here are some examples. NH3, the H could be replaced with an alkyl group called CH3 or it could be replaced by two CH3s for water and there's also alcohols. Methanol is an example.